The Mother Cardinal, in her opinion, believes the Malachor to be a result of a curse. A curse cast by a demon. An evil creature worshipped by a cult of island natives. If you would allow me to second the request of our Mother Cardinal, we are in dire need of your help. Our Inquisitors are hardly diplomats and... But I should let you finish, my son. They have started their investigations in a village where strange events have been taking place. But they're unable to get to the bottom of it. The population keeps its secrets. And Teleme hopes that we might help them learn more about the cult. This is all extremely interesting. You have lived up to my expectations, as always. That said, we find ourselves between the rock and the hard place. The bridge is already in open conflict with the island natives. Teleme and their inquisitors... <sighs> We're going to have to tread on eggshells, but let's follow all the clues to their mysteries. We need to help them continue their investigations. Perhaps one will lead us to something useful. I don't have a lot of men, as well you know, and since I only trust you among them, take Kurt and any others that seem useful. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. If you would allow me, Your Highness, I would be honored to assist your cousin on his investigation. Very well, then. You could start by indicating the precise location of your nasty village. Of course, Your Highness. I should have thought of that sooner. Allow me to mark the location on your map, my son. Thank you. Have no fear, Constantine. I will take care of all matters at hand. Anything else? I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. continent are you not you are different than the people from here delighted to see you again sister Ephesia father Petrus is that really you what are you doing here merely a courtesy call how might I help you how has your mission fared up until now sister not very well I'm afraid I haven't been able to get much from these villagers their chief and their priest are evasive when questioned as for the other natives their behavior can be quite odd they'll spend hours just staring into the void but as soon as I come close they chase me away they frighten me I must admit there is a heavy veil of evil here I feel it but I'm not able to find from whence it comes perhaps you should talk to them they may speak to you Anything else? Have you been here for a long time? Since the beginning of my investigation. A few weeks, perhaps. Although it feels like months. I'm not particularly fond of the wild, and I find this place unsettling. I see. Anything else? That will be all, Sister Ephesia. Thank you. Bird tear to mud on all Menawi. I am Derdra, daughter of Enora, daughter of Rowena, Mal of this clan. Is it you who helped my warriors discover what the men of the Red Sun were doing? Indeed. Then I thank you. 
It's probably because you are an Onol Menawi that you are different from the other Renaikse. What do you seek? Can you tell me something about your beliefs? We believe that we are part of an everything, and that life depends on a balance that comes from this everything. Our strength is drawn from that which we protect, all that surrounds us, and that which surrounds us feeds and protects us in return. What can you tell me about your rituals? Ah, oh, you have heard this question before. You sound like the mind shaker woman. The rituals are the business of the Donegada, not of the Renoixe. Anything more? Concerning this story about a cult. Enough! Enough questions. I have nothing more to say. Good day. Are you the wise man of this village? Burt Tir Dumad Renaikse. Oi and the Donegad. Yes. I would like to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. The people of your island are constantly asking questions, yet reject any answers that displease them. Questions have no value when one already claims to know the answers. But. It is your case. You believe you know the answers. You seek only their echo. Answer your own questions. At least then the answers will please you, and we shall be done with your foolishness. That is not what I... Kwa Awelemseg. May your answers fill your day with bounty. Good day. Do you want something? Could you answer a few questions? Questions, questions. It is a word that you adore. Let us play a game. If you answer my questions, I will answer yours. If it's the only way to get answers, then let's play. I am pleased. We will have fun. But beware, no lies. What name is given the place from where you come? I come from Serene, a grand city on the continent of Gekane. Really? It is possible that you come from there, but I believe that this is not your land. Your turn. Your village seems different than the others. Why is that? Each village is different than the others. It is the reflection of those who live in it and of all that surrounds it. Verlug is the village of the lightning-struck wood in your language. Why do you call it that? It is said that there was once a great fire that burned all the surrounding woods caused by a storm. But one tree that burns nourishes a new tree, greener and stronger than before the forest returns. We are like her. Even wounded we rise again, stronger than we were before. Our warriors are known for this by all clans. They fear us. Let's try something else. Are you on all Menawi with your land? Or did you inherit your link from your parents? I'm not bound. Or at least I haven't done anything in particular to bind myself. Then it was your parents. One of them at least must have been Donegad. Your turn. 
What can you tell me about the rituals? Oh, I see what interests you. You want to know how our warriors are so strong, but I don't have an answer. It is a secret of the Donega. The rituals I know are made to celebrate nature, to honor and bring her blessings upon us. It was fun. More than with the woman who makes light, she did not want to play. Birtir to Mad, Anal Manawi. What do you want? Tell me about the missionaries that came here. Those who wear the symbol of the sun on their clothing. When they came, they spoke about their bright and shiny god. They told us we were wrong. Said that nature was just nature, and not to be worshipped. These men know nothing. We ignored them. They finally left. And then the woman came to us. She sniffed around everywhere, asking many questions, just like you. I was told that she tried to enter my own home. I even saw her trying to follow me in the woods. She must be careful. It is easy to get lost in the woods, or cross paths with wild beasts. What can you tell me about your rituals? Our rituals? Nothing. Nothing at all. They do not concern me. I am not a Denegad. Even you. You should be able to tell that. Why you bother me with these questions? I am only a gatherer. Go and bother someone else. What can you tell me about the beliefs of your village? The beliefs of the village? That is a strange question for an Onol Manawi. Our beliefs are the same as those of the other clans. We believe in the earth that carries us and feeds on our dead, in the rain that quenches us and drowns us, in the beasts that feed us and in those that eat us. I do not know what more I can say to you. Everyone shares these beliefs. This question will seem strange to you, but... Do you know anything about a demon? A... demon? A dark spirit, if you prefer. No. There is no such thing as dark spirits. Your question is not strange. Foolish, perhaps. I must leave now. Thank you for your help. Anything new? No. The investigation has gone stale. The villagers won't even engage in conversation with me now. Perhaps you should talk to them. They may speak to you. I managed to exchange a few words with some villagers, but I admit they don't seem keen to talk. And did they tell you anything worth sharing? I know little more about their beliefs. They worship nature and do not intend to change. It is certainly different from the Luminous Faith, but it's hardly demonic worship. Yet, there's something strange about this village. One of the villagers that spoke with me seemed truly worried. On edge, even. I think I know of whom you speak. A man always looking over his shoulder. He often sneaks out of the village like a thief. I attempted to follow him, but he always eludes me. I tried to get into his hut to see if he was hiding anything. But someone was always there. Then we should give it a try. Perhaps we'll fare better. Mm, this fellow did not seem very honest to me. If he's hiding something from us, perhaps we can find out what it is by searching his house. He doesn't look inclined to let us in. We'll have to distract him. I wonder if that eccentric young lady could help us. She seems to like you. Or, of course, we could create a diversion by breaking some of these pots. I can pretend to be clumsy, but we'll have to work fast, and it will only work once.
Do you want something? Might I ask you a few questions about the villagers? More questions? You really like this game. You really do. <sighs> if we could avoid the... Very well. But be brief then, because it is not good fun. What can you tell me about that man down there? I spoke to him, and he seemed... nervous. Don't hold it against him. The people of the Light have already questioned us. That makes him distrustful. He is a man of few words, but he is devoted to the village and listens to the Danae God with great attention. He is a gatherer, but everyone knows he wants to become the next Voglendijk, the next servant of Danae God. Where does this man live? Down there. His dwelling is right in front of my own. I would like to take a look inside. What? Why would you want to do that? It is his home. You have nothing to do there if you are not invited. I really must go inside. I need to clarify something. If you can help us. My child, I understand you might be shocked by this request. But have no fear. We have no intention of taking or destroying anything. We would just like to put to rest a few rumors. You are one of them, aren't you? One of these men who shake our minds. A man of the light. Well, that's correct. I am a priest of Telemi. All of that are just words. And it is not fun. If you want my help, I want the hat of the mind shaker woman. Very well. I will go and ask her. But I cannot promise that she will accept. Did you learn anything? No. Nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? I'm working on it. Anything else? This may seem a strange request, but I have something to ask. I need you to give me your hat, so that I might sneak into the house of the native. My hat? I don't see how it could possibly make you more discreet. Is this some sort of joke? No. A woman is willing to help me in exchange for your bonnet. Go ahead and mock. It matters not. My mission takes precedence over my pride. Take it. Do you want something? Here. I present to you her hat. Hmm. Very well. I shall distract him, but be discreet and very quick. And be respectful of what you find there. Be good. What a horrible mask. How can someone wear such a thing unless they're worshipping some dark creature? I will admit that it's rather ghastly, but I'm almost certain that the warriors of this island wear these things in battle. is incredibly morbid. I wonder what sort of spirit could be venerated in this way. This is exactly the kind of proof we've been looking for. An evil cult, far from some naive veneration of nature and other island spirits. This painting is frightening. Evoking war. A massacre. A bloodbath under the likeness of a grimacing face. All these gruesome and bloody horrors leave no room for doubt. There is a demonic cult here. We should go tell Sister Ephesia. Did you learn anything? No. Nothing more. Were you able to get inside the nervous man's hut? 
I was able to sneak into the hut of our mystery man. And what did you discover? Some troubling things. A ritual mask, a rather morbid altar, and a fresco depicting a massacre. By the enlightened. To think these unholy things were so near. Finally, the proof we need that there's a blood-worshipping cult here. They cannot perform their heinous pagan rituals in the village. And I'm certain that it's where our nervous friend sneaks off to. I fail to find where he goes. But you have already proven more competent than I. I shall try. Hopefully he won't lead us into a trap. Thank you for your help. And good luck. We should wait until nightfall and follow him. Here we could hide and wait. We would be able to see where this sleepless boy goes during nightfall. Wake up, Greenblood. He's here. Where could our man have gone? These strange roots are forming some kind of door. This must be where he went. Child, you are very pale, as if you just saw something terrible. That's precisely what has happened. For a brief moment, I was this tree. This is truly some strange sorcery. What exactly did you see? Perhaps it is some sort of key. I was this tree, and my branches were shaken by a storm so strongly that they hurt terribly. The heavens caught fire several times, and I felt the lightning strike and pierce me through and through. A sinister warmth took hold of my entire body in an instant, and flames began to devour me. Life left me. All was calm, and I had a taste of cinder in my mouth. In spite of this, I continued to feel, and the rain began to fall on my roots, and at the very heart of my being, I felt the sap began to flow again. A shoot appeared on my darkened roots. Then the vision dissipated. I have never experienced anything like it before. This stone bears the image of a storm, or perhaps the wind. The drawing on this stone represents lightning.
Here this looks like a snowflake. The snow, or maybe ice. This stone is blackened, eaten away. I think it's supposed to evoke death. This stone has an image of the moon. On this stone, the sun is visible. This drawing looks like an infant. Could it represent life? The drawing on this stone makes me think of fire. I'm certain. This stone is blackened, eaten away. I think it's supposed to evoke death. This stone is adorned with the etching of a drop of water. <laughs> this island really is full of surprises and mysteries. This weird puzzle actually opened the door. A react nest, Diri! Lois de Draman a des Gideon, a renta. Es war nu fradi, dama gengadan, ya diga la dandian. Es war nu fradi, thou a gashidon. Ag es war nu fradi, thou a gremos anabui. Is no longer any doubt. The creature who was talking through this tree is a demon. In any case, Teleme's story suddenly sounds way more plausible. The Denegad who performed the ritual was the villagers. We should go talk to Deirdre. What do you seek? We found your sanctuary and assisted in one of your blood rituals. Was the apparition we witnessed the demon the priests were talking about? What is clear is these priests know nothing and you know nothing. I am not from Teleme. I cast no judgment upon your beliefs. But if you want us to help you, you need to help us understand. I doubt that you would be able to understand, but very well. I'll attempt to help you make sense of what you witnessed. The ritual you saw is a ceremony to summon forth the strength of our warriors. Our people have always lived in harmony with nature. Our very existence revolves around her. She talks to us and takes on many faces. What you have witnessed is just one of many. Confronting the threat that the Ranoixi make up, we called them for their blessing, and they appeared to us. Can we contact them? 
I mean, is communication possible? What you witnessed was not a discussion. But if you visit a sanctuary, you may see one of the faces, and then you will be able to talk. Pass the mountains and head to the swamps. There, if you perform the ritual, you will see them come. Though what you will hear may not be to your liking.